And a former astronaut says aliens exist. Been covered up by our government for quite a long time. We discussed it at every conference that we had with the military. There's always things like that going on. Uh, flying saucers and we've had other things, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Одновременно предоставляется доклад, абсолютно закрытый, спецслужб, которая занимается контролем пришельцев на территории нашей страны. Значит, две эти папки передаются вместе с ядерным чемоданом. После прекращения полномочий, соответственно, эти папки передаются новому президенту. Hovering above it comes a strange three-dimensional creature which, oddly enough, looks like an apple. And the three-dimensional creature sees an attractive, congenial-looking square, watches it enter its house, and decides in a gesture of interdimensional amity to say hello. There's a new video this morning hello. that some say may be proof we're not alone in the universe. A UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. The video is said to be taken over the weekend. Uh, then suddenly the light shoots up into the sky. There you see it. Another video from a different angle uh, appears to show the light doing the same thing. Those clips have gone viral now.
Hello, says the three-dimensional creature. How are you? I am a visitor from the third dimension. Well, the poor square looks around his closed house, sees no one there, and what's more, has witnessed a greeting coming from his insides, a voice from within. He surely is getting a little worried about his sanity. The three-dimensional creature is unhappy about being considered a psychological aberration, and so he descends to actually enter Flatland. Now, a three-dimensional creature exists in Flatland only partially. Only a plane, a cross-section through him can be seen. So, when the three-dimensional creature first reaches Flatland, it's only the points of contact which can be seen. And we'll represent that by stamping the apple in this ink pad and placing that image in Flatland. And as the apple were to descend through, slither by Flatland, we would progressively see higher and higher slices, which we can represent by cutting the apple. So the square, as time goes on, sees a set of objects mysteriously appear from nowhere and inside a closed room and change their shape dramatically. His only conclusion could be that he's gone bonkers. Well, the apple might be a little annoyed at this conclusion, and so not such a friendly gesture from dimension to dimension, makes a contact with the square from below and sends our flat creature fluttering and spinning above flatland. At first, the square has no idea of what's happening. He's terribly confused. This is utterly outside his experience. But after a while, he comes to realize that he is seeing inside closed rooms in Flatland. He is looking inside his fellow flat creatures. He is seeing Flatland from a perspective no one has ever seen it before to his knowledge. Getting into another dimension provides as an incidental benefit a kind of X-ray vision. Now our flat creature slowly descends to the surface and his friends rush up to see him. From their point of view, he has mysteriously appeared from nowhere. He hasn't walked from somewhere else. He's come from some other place. They say, for heaven's sake, what's happened to you? And the poor square has to say, well, I was in some other mystic dimension called up and they will pat him on his side and comfort him or else they'll ask well show us where is that three dimen third dimension point to it and the poor square will be unable to comply but maybe more interesting is the other direction in dimensionality what about the fourth dimension our flatlander couldn't imagine a third dimension but he could sure deduce it now, increase all the dimensions in this story by one, and you have something like the situation which many cosmologists think may actually apply to us. We are three-dimensional creatures trapped in three dimensions. We imagine our universe to be flat in three dimensions, but maybe it's curved into a fourth. We can talk about a fourth physical dimension, but we can't experience it. No one can point to the fourth dimension. I mean, there's left, right, and there's forward, back, there's up, down, and uh, there's uh, some other direction simultaneously at right angles to those familiar three dimensions. 